Hey friends, this is Lindsay. I'm going to be showing you how you can create your own mock-ups in Brother Canvas Workspace, which is the design software that you use in conjunction with your Scan and Cut machine. Now you do need to work in the PC software version of Canvas Workspace, the version that you download for free onto your computer, not the web-based application version that you access online. So if you haven't already done so, go ahead and download Can Canvas Workspace onto your computer and then open up the program to a new workspace. Now the first thing that you'll want to do is import the actual JPEG file of the photograph of the mock-up. So you click this SVG icon here in the left menu and then locate the photograph uh, file that you've previously saved on your computer. So here's this beautiful vertical porch sign photograph and go ahead and resize it as big as you can, but to still fit within these red cut outlines. And now you'll need your SVG to overlay on top of this mockup. So go back to that SVG icon in the left menu and locate the design file on your computer. I'm going to be using this welcome to your home heart wreath SVG and open it into your workspace. And of course, I'm going to need to make some edits to it. So um, from here on out now, I don't need to make any more edits to the actual photograph itself. So to make it easier on myself, I'm going to lock it so I don't accidentally click on it and move it around. So go into the layers panel and scroll down to the image here at the bottom and click this empty box and the lock icon will appear. And that just means that as long as this lock icon is engaged, then I can't click on or make any uh, edits to the image because it's locked, which is totally fine because now I just want to select all the parts of the SVG and I can really easily do that by just clicking and dragging my mouse over the SVG. It'll select everything in the SVG but not the design itself and now I can go ahead and group the SVG together and so then I can go ahead and move it and resize it as one unit to fit within the vertical porch sign in this photograph. So now essentially you have created a mock-up just as you see it here. Now, if you do want to customize the SVG even further, like I wanna make some edits to different colors of the SVG, then you can absolutely go ahead and customize it to make it look how you want it to look. So for example, I wanna change the colors of the leaves. So I'm gonna go back into the layers panel here and you can see all the different separate elements of this SVG. And so I want to select only the leaves. So I am going to hold control on my keyboard. I'm using a PC, so I hold control on my keyboard. And while I'm holding it down, I'll go ahead and click on each of the leaves until they're all selected. And you can tell that they are selected because they'll be highlighted highlighted in this light blue color. Then I'll go up to the paint bucket icon to change the fill color uh, located in the top menu here. And let's select green and then all the leaves will change green. And then it makes sense to me to keep all these leaves grouped together as one design element. So back in the layers panel um, over one of the selected leaves, I'm just going to right click the mouse and click group from the drop down menu. Now all the leaves are grouped together and you could even rename the group in the layers panel if you wanted to find it more easily later. And then I'm going to do the same thing with these little dots, these little berries. I'm gonna select them all again by holding control on my keyboard while I click on each of them in the layers panel. And once they're all selected, go up to the paint icon, change their color to red, then it also makes sense to me to group these together. So I'm gonna do that as well. And you can rename the group if you want to. 
I could also change the colors of the words or make other uh, customizations if I wanted to, but I like how it looks right now. And so when you're done making edits to your mock-up, then of course you'll want to save this and um, export it from Canvas Workspace. And there's a little workaround to do that. You're going to need to use your computer's screenshot or screen capturing tool. I'm using a PC, so I'll show you what it looks like on my computer. And yours is probably very similar, um, though it may look a little bit different. So then just take your screen capture or your screen snip and save that onto your computer. And you then have a completed mock-up saved onto your computer, ready to use for whatever you need to use it with. And that, my friends, is just how easy it is to create a mock-up using Canvas Workspace.